Hello everybody, my name is Virus Lord, but I am back to bring you guys another video. Today we will be looking at another video of my Windows ME series. We will be looking at Windows Millennium Edition, uh, build, be uh, Beta 1 Build 2380. So there's not that much that has changed in Windows Millennium. Everything looks relatively the same in setup. Uh, the build was compiled. I'm not, I'm not very sure if it's actually compiled in this state, but I'm going off on the bio state. The bio state of this was September 21st, 1999. Out of memory. Okay. Uh, <laughs> excuse that. Um, so, yeah. This is... This is um, bill was compiled around September 20th, late September 21st, 1999. And this uh, build is actually... One, it's what's known that one file could be from the net from the from Windows Neptune project, which is the gemstar.sys, and the reason being is because it has a version number of 5067.1. So that's why people think that this might be part that these files might be part of the Windows Neptune project. Uh, some changes are, are into the are in this build. System restore has been added. However, it it doesn't work. It just it it just doesn't work. It, Microsoft didn't actually uh, implement the feature for it to work. As you can see, the boot screen now says beta one instead of development release. And another one is that PC help has been remodeled around the Neptune Activity Center using HTML. So. When we're going to see the actual help, the PC help, it's going to look very, very different. It's something you guys probably, and it crashed. Uh, it's probably something you guys haven't seen because I haven't released my Windows Neptune video just yet. I will be releasing that at the end of my Windows Millennium um, series. So you guys can kind of see what I mean by the reference to the Windows Neptune. So you guys know what I mean there so after you log on so once we're done logging on there's a couple new options in start menu apparently uh, here we go this is the new build so let's see what can we do around here it's 2380 it's the build number start menu here we go Millennium we have shut down settings Windows update let's go to control panel first let's see what we got here so everything looks mostly the same, nothing too different. I think the OB's ODBC data uh, changed actually. Got the system, 2380, uh, beta, uh, beta 1, there we go. So we got our performance, everything looks pretty much the same in system. So let's go back to the start again. Let's go to program, let's see what the accessories. Oh, there's the help center right there, it has a different icon too. Accessibility. Accessibility has less things in it. System tools. Wow, there's a lot of system tools here. So there's system restore right there. However, it doesn't work. System restore is not enabled. Okay. So <laughs> let us open system restore because it's not enabled. Anyways, so there we go. So now let's move on. I think that's about it for here in the control panel. Let's go back. Uh, let's see. You're going to go to help. I don't think this is the one that opens the actual help. Oh no, this is the regular Windows help. This is... Oh, there we go! It's changed it to Windows 2000 Millennium! <laughs> Alright, um, that's cool. So, yeah, and the old media player is available besides the newer 7.0 version. Okay, cool. And if you guys didn't know, the help center is very, very heavily HTML based. So it's gonna tr it acts like a web page. It's it's basically the it's more of the integration of the uh, HTML of Internet Explorer integration with the programs, and as we'll see when we open up the help the help center. So page cannot be display. Let's go to Google. See what happens. It takes forever. Internet Explorer cannot open the search page. Survey. This is the bug report. Very nice, very nice. You can set bug reports to the team. Alrighty. Let's go to the start menu. And let's head on to the help center, actually. Actually, we'll first look at over here. Yeah, let's look at the help center first. So let's go. 
And you'll see what I mean how it's different. It looks a lot different. Excuse the colors. I could not get the graphics drivers to work on this thing. No matter how hard I tried, the, the darn graphics drivers just don't want to work. It They just don't. And I've tried so hard and for these builds, when I tried to access the actual drivers and how I wanted to install them, uh, the system would basically say you can't open this file because if I open more than one file at a time in Explore, it would just crash Explore. So I couldn't do that at all. So I'm going to have to deal with this. Help and support. What would you like help with? Uh, so you can see it's a lot more different as you can see it has a lot of web page integration so you can definitely see uh, how how Microsoft was trying to shift into more desktop in integration and you'll see this almost exact same style on the Windows NT series once you once you see that once you guys see my Windows NT series which should be coming out in a couple of weeks after after all of my Windows Millennium builds are done and then after the Windows Millennium builds are done, yeah, you got and you got the Neptune build, and after Neptune is going to go straight right into Windows Whistler, which is going to be a nice adventure in and of itself. Anyways, here we go. I think that's almost about it. I don't believe I have anything else to really say about the build. I mean, we could just look around a little bit more. I think I was gonna check out the uh, Windows update. I always insist on trying to go to Windows Update even though it just doesn't work because Microsoft, uh, the end of life of this operating system is just already gone. Games, oh they took out Pinball, this Pinball isn't there anymore. Internet connection, net meeting, there we go. Very nice, very nice, very nice. And here we go, Paint, Paint looks relatively the same, nothing too different about Paint, which is very nice. And let's see, let's see. Let's go to programs, online services. <laughs> That's when I tried to install virtual box editions, but it didn't work. So I couldn't get the drivers in there. Internet tools, system tools. That's a lot of system tools right there. So welcome to Windows. It still says Windows 98, so I mean, eh, nothing too bad. So I think almost I think that's about all I can cover really. I don't I don't have anything else to really say about this. Everything is pretty much the same. No big changes, just some tiny changes here and there, but there are significant enough to be looked at. The next build is definitely going to be very nice. I believe next build I did I was able to actually set up the graphics driver. So the graphics are going to look a lot better it's gonna be very nice so the, the graphics is act the graphics are actually gonna work well so you guys can see the better resolution better color oh the dialog box just says windows oh perfect anyways thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for all the love and support you guys have been giving me these videos i hope you guys are really enjoying this series and i'm just glad I'm able to finally reach to my biggest tackle milestone, which is going to be Neptune and the Windows Whistler line, which is going to be very nice to actually go for. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and share the video if you guys really did enjoy it. It really helps out the channel. Really uh, shows that you guys really do support me. This program is not responding. <laughs> it may be busy. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Virus Alertable, signing off.